Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning market webcast. Okay, so the grind continues to the upside. We're continuing to have issues. We're jammed at a 20 handle range between 2900 and 2880. 2900 being the round number, 2880 being the weekly pivot. Here's an hourly chart. So, issues with 2900, I showed you that yesterday. Lower high, nice little short. So, it was a nice little day in the room for us, about 17 handles. Um, we're up a little bit this morning from the overnight. Um, but you see down here, you got weekly pivot support. They can't convert 80. Um, you got a big old messy candle here because you got the ECB coming out right now. Draghi's talking right now. They took it up to 91. They took it back to 84. And now it's kind of consolidating in the key area, which for me is between 84 and 88 today. Uh, that's the area that's really going to have to make a decision. But this is a tape that wants to be actively traded a little bit more. Uh, you got to take profits where you find them and you got to be flexible and in, in going in the other direction if you need to. Um, so for me, you got a potential lower high here from here and from here, you need a lower low and you need to convert this if you are the bears. If you're the bulls, make this a higher low, but you got to start trading above 2,900. You need to conquer this 20 handles. It's not about conquering daily pivot. It's not about conquering weekly pivot. You're, you're, you're holding serve down here. You have to start to expand the range. Right now, it's a 20 handle range. The bulls need to expand the range. The bears need to expand the range too. And there's an opportunity for them to do that. So the lower high from yesterday, 91 half, we've done 91 quarter, 91, 91 quarter here. So 91 has been an issue in the very short term. Uh, versus you know 78 to 80 and that's you know that's where things really start to to come together um, in the very short term so we're in a 20 handle range the winning side is going to expand that range uh, you can trade it from both sides just understand that when the the side you're trading starts to stall out that's when you need to be taking profits and looking at the other direction now that works every time except for the time when they expand the range if they expand the range, one of the reasons we use disaster stops in the room is our risk is capped and it gets you out of the trade, it clears your head. And then if, you know, if it is a breakout or if, it's a, or if it is a breakdown, you can get involved with price as it does whatever the hell it is it's gonna do to the upside or the downside. Don't get stubborn. Don't be the bag holder on the next intermediate leg of the market. How do you become a bag holder? Well, you turn a day trade into a swing trade into a, a mess where you've added three, four, five times, you know, don't be that person. We're only going to hang around in this 20 handle range for so long. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. There'll be more stuff on on social. Come check us out. I am fighting a cold in a big way when I can, you know, when, when I start feeling better, I'll go ahead and hop back on the Instagram for now. I'm going to do these because I can stop and start and cough and do all the crap because I just, I, I don't feel well. Um, everybody have a great day. I will check everybody later. More stuff out on social. Trade them off. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.